Right, ladies and gentlemen, as some of you already know, on the 1st of June, only a couple of weeks from now, Tommy Robinson, alongside myself, 2CTV, and a few others, will be in Westminster, in central London. And there will be another rally. It's not a protest, it's simply a rally of patriots to show that we are in favour of this country, we are in favour of our values, and Tommy is going to be showing his latest documentary on a big screen, uh, which I will be featuring myself. Uh, but uh, Tommy uh, obviously has a message for all of you guys, uh, uh, which we now have uh, about 1st of June, the arrangement with the police and everything else, because ironically, actually, the whole point of this, these sort of rallies is to also expose the two-tier policing, but he had to negotiate with the police. Uh, but it, obviously, the police, the Metropolitan Police, as usual, are difficult, so you have to obviously force their hand in order to actually get what you want. Uh, Tommy will explain more. Let me try for that. My training this morning done, yeah? I've just... We've been in negotiations with the police for weeks now, about June the 1st. And we got told, 48 hours, 48 hours, 48 hours. We got told that the agreement that we would have Parliament Square for our huge Arctic lorry and the biggest screen you can hire in the UK, sound system, piano, everything, so we can have a celebration, yeah? But we haven't had it agreed. And they've been stalling us and stalling us and stalling us. Yesterday at 11 o'clock I sent in my message. Basically, I'll play you it, yeah? I won't play you it now, but I'll play you it. I basically said, if you don't give us Parliament Square, let me explain what's going to happen. I'm going to target every pro-Palestinian rally there is in London from this point on. I'm going to bring thousands into London to head off the pro-Palestinian rallies. That's not actually what we're asking to do. What we're asking for is equal rights to other communities who have been allowed to set up in Parliament Square. With a black bars matter, you allow them to march past our cenotaph and then about the Palestinian mob, the pro Hamas mob. You allow, you allow them week in, week out. No, you never prevent, they're never prevented. And then he said, and I asked about counter protesters. But I sent this message basically laying it on. Yeah? Within one hour, they agreed Parliament Square. Is that good? It's good for us. But that's exactly what they do. That's why the police bend to them through fear. They know they can't handle thousands of young men coming to confront these rallies, so they bend, yeah? That's the reality of how it works. And I saw it with the English Defence League, I've learned very quickly how you have to negotiate with the police. And it's through force, unfortunately. Now, the other point they're making is there's a counter-protest to us. So I said, where are they going to be? I've recorded every conversation we've had with the police. I said, at no point do we want to be near them. We don't want to see them, in fact. Yeah? They're irrelevant to us. Where are you going to put them? Well, they have to... Lop, Articles 10 and Article 11 of their human rights, they have to be, if they want to protest against you, we have to put them within uh, vocal distance so they, they, they can be heard. I said, okay, sound. I want to protest outside the East London Mosque. And I want them to hear me. So that's what I'm going to organise. Yeah? Will, will that be allowed? Can you agree that's going to be allowed? He said, well, I can't agree that's going to be allowed. Well, shut up then. Yeah? In all reality. Stop fucking about it, right? We're trying to facilitate a peaceful day for everyone who's coming. Yeah? And we're going out of our way to do that. And the police have now agreed our, our, we have Parliament Square, we have our stage, we have our screen. We've agreed a muster point. Um, we've not wanted to affect the rest of London and certain events that are on. So I will keep you up to date. We'll finalise everything by Saturday. We'll email out, video out. If you're sitting on the fence thinking about whether to come to London or not, what more will it take to get you up and get you out and get you to do something? What more will it take? How much more moaning can we do? Now, if every single person who felt our way, everyone who wanted our borders closed, who doesn't want the huge the uh, WHO to take over our, our rights in this country, who who's fed up of who who was fed up with everything and every liberty the government have taken over the last three or four years, yeah, saying they're going to bring immigration down and bring in 1.2 million people, locking us up for the flu, killing people, literally. If, if you're not going to get out now, what's it going to take? And what we're saying is everyone who fought the way we think, which is the majority, don't let them, don't let them think you're a fringe minority, you're the majority. Okay? Our views are mainstream. Okay? Don't let them think they're not. Now, the majority of people don't vote. That's us, unfortunately. The majority is us who do not vote, because there's no one to vote for. Yeah? The majority of people took to our capital city. We would shut the entire capital city down. Yeah? That's called a revolution. That's the start of it. Groups of dedicated, committed people who want change. 
that's us. And on Saturday, June 1st, make sure you're one of them. Make sure you're there. Okay? And uh, as I said, full updates coming. Yes. The other problem I have is um, the system that we have and the police, the language. They said, yes, there is going to be a counter protest. Counter protest to what? Because the 1st of June is not going to be a protest. It's simply a rally. People getting together and to celebrate our values. We're not protesting against anything. What's the counter protest for? You should call them protesters. They are going to be protesting. The far left and the Islamists against us for simply standing there flying the Union flag and St. George's flag. Really? Apparently we are the problem. Anyway, we'll keep you guys posted on the details of the 1st of June. As we said, uh, don't forget to sign up and join us on the 2C TV Plus platform. Uh, go on 2C.TV. Uh, the link is also in the description. And join us uh, today to get access to all our premium shows and help us grow our new media revolution. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya 2C and we are the media.